Alright, so this video is about how to replace the foot sensor on one of these uh, FutureSaw slash X-Series type hoverboards. So the first thing that you're wanna, gonna wanna do is identify the side that the foot sensor is stuck on, which would be the side where this light here will be on and balancing. And then uh, you're gonna wanna unscrew the screws from that side, which uh, you know Hassan here has already done. So go ahead and pull that off. Screws are probably going to fall out from underneath here. What are you doing this on? I am unplugging, um, unplugging the speaker and okay. the indicator light from the gyroscope. You guys want to make sure you unplug the battery as well. You want to make sure you unplug the connection wires to the motor. One, two, three. Yeah, just pull on those, they'll come right out. And then you also want to disconnect the activation to the gyroscope which is this wire here. Put your thumb on the black clip there. And then also and this wire apart. here. You want to pull that apart. Okay. And these here are your foot sensor wires. You want to disconnect these. These things these. on the corner. So that's your actual foot sensor right there. That wire connects to what the problem actually is. And these little foot sensors are underneath the battery. So to get to the battery, what you, do we have to do? You guys want to unscrew the mounts to the top cover. Right There's going to be three mounts. One, two, three right on there. both sides. And right there. And then you guys want to make sure everything is disconnected. And then you want to turn over your hoverboard in the future okay. self. And you want to remove the top cover ever so slightly. Yeah. Your indicator, Very careful. Your indicator will be in that loop, so you guys want to make sure you fish that through. Okay. And you should have unplugged that earlier from uh, the gyroscope itself. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's the top. Set that aside. And then you have four screw mounts that are holding down the motor mount that is also holding down the battery on the these inside. Two. And and these two. And these two right here. So you now this requires an Allen wrench. Do you know what size that Allen wrench is? What it says on there? That's the, not the right one, first of all. Mm -hmm. This is not the right one. So you guys want okay. this size here. Okay, what does it say on there? It says this one is two Move three. your fingers. Husky. Keep turning it. HW three. Alright, so it's a size three. And then you wanna take this one off. This one well they off. might not have a drill, but a size three Allen wrench is what will work, whether you have a drill or not. And you wanna be very careful if you have a drill because these are made out of aluminum. Is that one stripped? Mm -hmm. so, Let me look that's at an it. example. So, you guys want to make sure that you're very careful because we probably stripped this one before. This is trash. Got this one again. Is that one good? Mm -hmm. All right, so, we'll keep these three. We're going to toss this one just because we've done it before on this board. It's kind of our demo board. So all right. nice. Make sure that all the motors and everything are unplugged right in this area because we're going to pull this off now. And if it's connected still, it's going to cause you problems. But So pull the motor off there, pull that whole mount off. And now we're going to be able to access the actual foot sensors here after we take the battery off. So to take the battery off, we've got one, two, three, four on the other side. Screws that come off. You just use a Phillips head screwdriver for this, as you can see, regular screwdriver. Pull that off. Now these are your foot sensors right here. You got one on this side, 
and one on this side. Uh, for anybody doing this at home, we highly suggest just replacing both of them. And to replace both of them, um, I'm actually not going to make you do it here, Hassan, but we're going to tell everybody at home, you unscrew this part right here with the two uh, Phillips head screws, and then you're going to replace this old foot sensor here and this old foot sensor here with the brand new ones that you've either bought from our website or gotten from us for whatever repair issues that you need. So once you replace those, we're going to go back and do everything backwards. And if you want to keep watching, you can just watch Hassan here, just put it all back in. And don't plug it in yet. Okay, so screw it down. Yeah, you gotta put these screws in. You got the four screws for the battery. Now this video could also be used for anybody that wants to replace their battery. Instead of swapping out the foot sensors, um, you could have just swapped out the battery itself and uh, this could be a new battery. Which it actually is. This is a new battery, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We take good care of our stuff here. So he's placing the uh, motor back on, and as you'll see here in the middle, it's kind of very specific how it sets in there. But it does fit very nice and snug. All right, now he's going to flip it back over. We've got our aluminum screws right here. I'll get you a spare for that fourth one. This one looks good. So here's your fourth one. So put these right here. Yeah. Make sure not to over screw these. Maybe one tick and then that's good, otherwise you might end up uh, stripping them. Because again, they're aluminum and they're really easy to strip. Next piece we need is the plastic piece. Make sure your foot pad is on there in case yours might have fallen off. Some are glued and some are not. Slide the indicator light through. Pull it tight. And make sure that's nice and snug so there's no open seams or anything. Looks good. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to put these screws back in. There's three screws on each side.
now that we're done with that, let's uh, show everybody how to put the wires back together. Okay, so <clears throat> you have your motor wire to go. Speak up. You have your gyroscope wire to go to your gyroscope to your motherboard. You yeah. have your motor wire from your motor to go to your motherboard as well. All right. Like that. And these are the same size, so they're impossible to screw up. And then you have your color-coded motor wires that go into the motherboard as well. So yellow goes to yellow. You push those in there nice and tight too. Blue goes to blue. Okay. And green goes to green. And then you have your foot sensor wires here. Okay, these are the new foot sensors. And these would connect into here. Just gonna focus on the one in your left hand. It snaps right into place. And then you want to connect your LED to your LED and your indicator to your indicator. Your indicator to the gyroscope. To the gyroscope. Okay. Now the battery. Don't forget the battery. So you want to take your battery wire here, connect it. Like so. Okay. And then your the last wire is your Bluetooth to your Bluetooth. Yeah, if your board has a speaker, then you can plug your Bluetooth in. Um, you're going to want to make sure when you're putting this together to wiggle all your wires towards kind of the middle. Uh, this is one of the more difficult parts, believe it or not, is actually getting the sides to go in here uh, seamlessly. And it really just requires a lot of wiggling of those wires inside. Make, see, he's making sure that that wire is not underneath anything. And the side looks like it's good. How's your side? Yep. So your side's good, good too? Mm -hmm. Cool. And then uh, these last four screws here, um, you're just going to put them back together. Now, are there shorter screws up on here? Yes, they are. So these are the shorter screws right here and right here, and then the longer screws are the ones that are on the inside. Well, that's good to know. And just so people are aware, um, the screw itself is a machine screw right here with a fine coarse thread. Whereas for some of our other boards, you'll have this uh, coarse uh, thread right here. So we don't want this, and what we do want is we want this for this model. You want to turn it on? See if it works. There we go. Everything works perfectly. And now your light shouldn't be stuck on anymore, just like this one's working. Yeah, there you go. Turn this again. Yep. So we've got a fully functioning hoverboard that we replaced uh, the foot sensor on, or you know, you could have replaced the battery as well. And that's all for today.